Don Rickles we've seen many times on television. We saw them on the Dean Martin roasts. We saw him on the Carson show. We saw him on all of the talk shows. But in short spurts, we decided to do a whole evening with Don Rickles. Had no idea that we would have such a funny one hour with him. Wait till you see this interview and performance by Don Rickles. I want to do everything you do, so I'll be a hit. Now, you are a big star. You've told me that many, many times. I have. <laughs> Did you see how I warmed them up well, for your every pearl? But as I've always said, this theater looks like it's 7,000 people. There's six people in two rows. So. <laughs> oh, the money we save with yeah. mirrors. This is a good outfit if you're an usher. <laughs> but, uh, you like it, Dan? No, it's great. Did yeah. you used to wear those when you were with the band? Yeah, well, are they coming back with the clip-ons? Yeah, yeah. The clip-ons. This is a Perry Ellis. If it rains... It's not a clip-on. A Perry Ellis. I, I, you got to throw heavy names at me I right away. I tied that. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you did? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I tie all my ties like that, too. Yeah. Oh, Barbara doesn't do those ones? No, no, no. Oh. She does the laundry. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'll bet she does a lot of that. I hear the front's going, hey, hey, hey. Don't be a dumbbell. I hate that. <laughs> no, you're a nice guy. I just said a lot of guys, hey, 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 it's great, it's great. So how you been, Murph? I've been wonderful, Don. It's really nice looking, uh, seeing you looking so healthy. Try to put the words together. I'm just trying. Really... <laughs> when they make that kind of money, they panic. They're... No, no, no. <laughs> Look at the... the guy in a boom. How are you, guy? If you get a nibble, call me. I'll get in the boat. <laughs> anyway, uh, you know, in the presence of uh, you, <laughs> what was I going to say? In your the presence... man is absolutely panic-stricken. He never had a name on the show. <laughs> Millions of people, they were telling me backstage, Prince Charles, yeah. Raquel Welch, or Joe DiMaggio, whoever it is. Are they and, on? No, no, they're oh, not going to oh. be on this show. But <laughs> this guy is talking to me like he never met. You, you know what? I know when you're really a big name, when you see people with their names, Lou Schwartz. <laughs> people are on, you're on convention, right? Those people, are you, are you on convention? <laughs> Why do you have tags? Don't you know who you are? <laughs> I'll have little names. I'm Al. I think I'll have a drink. I'm Al. <laughs> nice to see you. <laughs> Look at that. You even got the guy that you even got the guy that made Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's <laughs> that's a little deep for you yeah. folks. Don't worry about it. The one one that he doesn't believe in. No, know? that's not true. Huh? Oh, let's not get into that. We he was not get he was a rabbi and took a he left turn. He was not a rabbi. <laughs> What it, uh, do you celebrate Christmas? No, I don't. I celebrate uh, Hanukkah, which is equivalent to your... Oh, hey, hey, wait, let's not make it a no, rally. No, it's religious. You know what I mean? <laughs> but you didn't even say it right. Isn't it Hanukkah? Isn't it have a little... It's not Hanukkah. Oh. <laughs> I didn't do it that way. Jews are not a bunch of refugees in a no, I didn't book. say Hanukkah. <laughs> don't you put a little Hanukkah no, in it? No, on certain holidays, you say... Uh, you, you say the chuch, right, but uh, Hanukkah, we say Hanukkah. We don't say Hanukkah. You're hey, getting on my nerves it. and I'm going to tell the JDL right. and you're going to find yourself on a hook in a butcher store. <laughs> <laughs> but I know you're very, very, you're a good Christian and I'm proud of you. And I'm a good Jew and when the show's over, I'm going to hurt you. <laughs> anyway, uh, no, I love him. He's yeah. dear. And, and I wish you, this show will be aired after Christmas. So oh, we yes. won't even discuss this that. This is January already. Right, yeah. so... Uh, Did you have a nice Christmas? Oh, yeah, the yeah. tree burned. Did the tree burn? <laughs> Uh, did the neighbors do it? No, no, no. Just uh, like... That was a good one. Yeah. I just threw it. Right. Did the neighbors do it? You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what? I can't figure out why I'm on this show because I don't like you. Ah. Uh, but I gotta tell you, Murph, uh, obviously he needs help. No, but, but you, you talk about. The, we, we, we were, were saying. saying what were we, we were saying? saying. <laughs> <laughs> I, was I was telling. Oh, you're gonna do, do that? that? Oh. What was that guy's name, Mr. Backwards, backwards? Used to say that. Yeah. 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 Want to see a Jew slap on his shirt? Okay. <laughs> you were talking about the people who live in your house, you know. Oh no, no. no I said I said you were the last married. I'll pick up this somehow. Oh yeah, right. The last right. married couple right. in Hollywood. You said in no, March. they're the Newharts, so you only named one other right. couple. Right. Well, the Newharts. Well, there are many other couples, but I don't want to go into twenty-minute names. Ah, uh-huh, okay. But I must say, the Braunsteins. That won't mean anything to you. No, does that mean anything to you? No, uh, no. They're lovely people, dear friend. He heard of them. Yeah. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Lou and Jack Braunstein. No, it was Jerry and Barbara Braunstein. They're married a lot of years, dear friends of mine. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, my I'm manager's sure married a lot of years, uh, but I'm married in March. By March, I'll be married 20 years. 20 years? 20 years. And, well, they uh, ought to have a parade. 
No. 20 years? No, we're not gonna have a parade. What we're are you gonna, gonna do for the 20 We're gonna years? have a float and stand on you. Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> what are you gonna give Barbara for no. 20 years of endurance? A notice. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, no. We're gonna go to Paris and London and relive our honeymoon. Oh, really? Yeah, you're the, and, and do everything I did then. Well, a little slower. Yeah, yeah. But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> you can't keep up that pace. <laughs> when I first met her, it was, Aah! and she laid on the bed and went, go, Geronimo, go. <laughs> but we're going to have a marvelous time. We're in gonna... London and in Paris. Right. You, and... you, you like to go over there a lot. I love Europe. I love our country, of course. But yes. if you can afford, and all of us can afford today, really, if you budget yourself, it, it's worthwhile seeing the other part of the world. Uh, our own country is fantastic. Yeah. We should first see this country mm -hmm. and then go there, which I've tried to do, but uh, we, we Have love you been you. to the Carlsbad cabins? No. Ah. I've been to the Loray, Virginia cabins. Have you been to Bryce or Zion? You Zion, said? yes. Uh, no, 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 Zion. Uh, Zion, no. No, no. Zion, I was, yes. Not in Israel. Two no. Jews no, in no, Tel Aviv. No, 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 no. <laughs> Have you been to 17-mile uh, drive in Pebble Beach? No, no, our people well, you don't hang out there. <laughs> we you go have... to Palm Springs. Oh, do you? <laughs> and we say, come on in, Merv, come on in. And we got with rifles, with guys on a fence going, here he comes. Ah, da, 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 da. Ah. The so black we... guy sitting there went, I've never been to Palm Springs. Oh. <laughs> you don't need to burn. <laughs> now, but, uh, what, what's, your, what's, your, what's your first name, black brother? Milton. Milton? <laughs> Milton? I'm uh, Mervyn. Milton and Mervyn. Get to see me. We're only kidding. You know that, Milton. And I love you. You're a brother, uh, you're black, and I'm white. <laughs> I, I've been reading you've been hanging out uh, with the jet set. I mean, you just said a minute ago, Ooh, London. And yeah. Paris. You know, I, do you speak the languages? Or like the French? Hello, how are you? Uh -huh. I, uh, you manage, as you know. Concierge. Been, I, you know, right. Yeah. He does everything well, for you. Tipperini takes care of everything. Oh, really? You can speak Puerto Rican and not know a word of it. And little Tipperini, but what the great thing, because I've heard you time and time again, because you go over there for tennis yeah, in uh, yeah. Monaco. Yeah. And you went to Monaco? No, no, you did. Yeah, but. Uh, <laughs> yes, I went to Monaco. Every time I work with you, I think I'm on tape. <laughs> well, sometimes you say things that really surprise me. I'm trying to get you see. Be surprised, I'm here. I think in pictures. Oh, what? I think in pictures. I am picturing you right now in Monaco. Right. Hotel du Paris. No, no, there? we stayed at oh, the... Oh, couldn't get into the Hotel du Paris? Oh, we could have. No, you couldn't. Oh, yes, we could Which have. Which one did you stay at? But they didn't have a toilet in the hall. Uh -huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> no, we stayed, my wife and I, La Reserve. Which uh, you, you folks... stayed at La Reserve? Yes, I stayed at La Reserve. <laughs> Correct. Oh, you're, you're now talking to the couch. I stayed at La Reserve, and the couch gave a nod. Under your name? No, no, under a name of Lou Schwartz. Oh, Lou. The fighter pilot for the FBI. Uh -huh. Uh, I stayed, uh, I stayed at La Reserve, which La Reserve. you know is a lovely hotel, oh, just, wow. and we checked in. Yeah. We, we flew from Atlantic City. I was working at Resorts International, which I love, and I was, th th this Italian guy went, well, yeah, it is nice. <laughs> First the way Italians show their emotion. That's why you lost the war, because when they said attack, you went, hey. Yeah. Now, uh, I, you love the Resorts International. I love yeah. the Golden Nugget better, because I play there. Well, I know. <laughs> when? Uh, two weeks ago. Oh, oh, you do the show there. Well, but you don't play in the big room where Frank is. <laughs> you do is this show... Sinatra? Is you talking about Frank Sinatra? No, no, I'm talking about Frank Malaganza. Oh, Frank Malaganza. <laughs> he Frank plays the golf. In the Bronx that goes, <laughs> hey, play this. Hey, here's your play. Ah. No, no, but, uh, I play in the main room. Yeah, and, and we people... have crowds of people of course, waiting to get in. They line up at four in the morning, it's free. Uh, Frank gets six hundred dollars a ticket. You get a cookie and a trip back to L.A. Frank gets six hundred dollars a ticket. No, he gets a lot of money. He's a big star. He's yeah. a friend of mine. I, I love. Was Frank. he you in the too. South of France when you were there? Yes, he happened to be there. He was working as a lifeguard. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> you know him? Yes. Yes, I do. You do. say hello, hello, Mr. Sinatra. No, you, no. You I, don't do your hockey. Right. I throw jump. myself on the floor and say, "Release my sister." Uh -huh. <laughs> You don't say hockey puck to I Frank. say everything to Frank. You do of not. Course I do. I got to tell you, this okay. is sincerely, though. He was at Hotel de Paris, and we were at La Reserve, and he's a great, he and his wife, Barbara Sinatra, they were, they were most gracious to us. They called up, and we thought we were going to be alone. First time, Barbara and I were having, you know, the wine, and I was ready to make the move, you know. You're kidding. Yeah, the wife was laying on the bed and going, Vive la France, vive uh -huh. la France. And I said, hold it up a minute. She doesn't, anyway, do, it. She doesn't do it in America. 
What do you mean she doesn't do it in America? How did we get the two kids blowing on her? I don't know. <laughs> but I mean recently. What do you mean she doesn't do it in America? <laughs> Every time I'm in heat, she puts a flag up. Da, 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 da. And there's no sex. Uh, what the hell kind of marriage well, because, did you have? Well, why, at this point, is she lying? That's going, why you're divorced. Viva la you raise the flag every time you went down the Well, my wife wasn't, wasn't saying Viva la France. She was saying something that you didn't like. Oh. Well, let's not get into your no, personal No, I don't want to, no. Because all of a sudden, Tony will take custody of your money. Right. Now, that's his son, Tony, who's yeah. a fine young man. Who's and, oh, but go ahead. Yeah, don't worry about it. Okay. He's taller than you and better looking. He's got a good chance at life. <laughs> you're going to wind up on a frog uh, in uh, some beach going blah, 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 blah. <laughs> So Frank was the most gracious, okay. and uh, we, we, he was at the Hotel de Paris. He had the whole top floor. You kidding? And, well, sure, he's got more money than you. Oh. I mean, what's you, he going to do with the whole you have, top you floor? You have the star a... dressing room here. Uh, uh, Georgina, your wonderful uh, executive producer, right. there's no toilet, you know. No, no, she's associate producer. Well, I don't want to... She I didn't know that. To, I don't want to steam the producer, Peter Barsocchini. Peter Barsocchini? Uh -huh. I have that in the Navy. It's a disease. No, it isn't. <laughs> They make I olive oil. It starts out as a rash, then it becomes a bossacchini. <laughs> anyway, uh, good luck to you, Peter. But uh, Georgina was very lovely, and you have a lovely. His family's in olive oil in Italy. But go ahead. Wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> Want to see me end it? <laughs> <laughs> but I, 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 I uh, got a call, and Frank said, Where are you? I said, We're at the La Reserve. Where are you? Didn't he call a number where you were? Yes, he did. But why would he say, where are you? What are you, what is this, well, I mean, test? That, <laughs> is it when you hit a bag... Well, if the guy call a number, why would he say, where are you? Don't yell at me, short guy, don't yell at me! <laughs> I hate that when a short guy yells at me. Now, the, the whole punchline was that we spent five lovely days, he was a gracious host, and uh, we went to a, the, the beach club. It's very, very private. You know, the Hotel oh, yes, de Paris. Yeah, yeah. And he had four cabanas, because he doesn't want anybody in the area. His four cabanas and the roof of the and, hotel. And, and, yeah, and the top roof, yeah. Because hmm. Frank loves security. But what does he do in all four cabanas? He gets undressed and goes, the summer wind. <laughs> da -da -da, da -da -da. And he likes the wind to run through his shorts. Wow. He's like, what do I know what he wants? Now, does he put on a bathing suit? Huh? I say, does he put on a bathing suit? No, he suit? runs around nude and says, wanna buy my album? Ah. Anyway. I'm just interested. Well, don't be that excited. Okay. You got me crazy. <laughs> Come on, boy, settle down. No. But I gotta tell you, we had the best time. We went up to Paul Saint Jovan. Is that how you say it? No, no, it's called Saint Paul du Vence. Oh, of what did you say? You know, I said Paul Saint Jovan. Paul you said, Saint Jovan would be the wrong town. Of course. So you that's why I ask you. Saint Paul du Vence. Oh. And you had lunch probably at or dinner at Calum d'Or. Is that it? No, we had it at a farm with this bro. No, you didn't. You had it at <laughs> Column door, column door, door, which was lovely. Lunch with uh, yeah, Roger Moore's lovely wife, Mrs. Moore. I keep, I, uh, uh, I love her. She's lovely dull. Italian girl. Yes, oh, uh, and uh, she mm. was so great. She kept saying, Dan, darling, uh, Roger should only be with us. We are having a marvelous time in Barbara Sinatra. Mm -hmm. And Dennis Stein, who was a, mar you know Dennis. Mm -mm. Well, Dennis uh, runs in front of Frank's car and checks for grenades. Oh. Uh, <laughs> and uh, Dennis Stein uh, was there. Mm -hmm. And uh, my wife kept saying, and Frank always talks to my wife. He's so charming to my wife. Okay. And Frank kept saying, Barbara, what do you think? Do you think we should go to the Hotel de Paris and have another drink? And Barbara said, listen, Frank, let's relax. Mm -hmm. That's the way I, I have that kind of wife. You know, okay. you could say she could come out of a burning building and there wouldn't be a cinder on her and she'd say, it was awfully hot in there. <laughs> <laughs> she's, that, she's that kind of, and that's the way the sex life goes, you know. <laughs> that was exciting. zippity doo dah <laughs> <laughs> It's my name. Yeah. Oh, so I was trying to tell you before, we came by, did I tell you, we came by this cabana, to Frank's cabana. Oh, Frank's was there, yeah. yeah and we cabana. had this driver, Dennis Stein and I, we all got in this car, yeah. and Frank's driver, Bruno, was not there that day. You know, when you Bruno. come out, we went to the tennis matches, it was for, uh, uh, what's those uh, gentlemen, I'll ask the audience, the, the, the jackets, you know, uh, uh, for, for men, members only. Members only was the tennis tournament oh. at, uh, at Monaco at the time, members only. And they had the jackets and the, the, the bowmen, all, everybody was there, you know, all the kids from Love Boat and, mm. uh, Charlton Heston and John Forsyth, who was behind the ropes, and we were sitting in the box, Frank and I, and John Forsyth kept leaning over, spitting up. I thought he had a rabies shot, you know. He, <laughs> man was dying to be with us, but I had no time, you know. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Frank said to me, who's behind us? There's a lot of big names. He said, well, wave to him. I said, Frank loves you! Much earlier! <laughs> and they were all sitting there, blah, blah, <laughs> spitting up, dying to be with us. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, 
And Frank was saying nice things about, you know, about the people, because the paparazzi drive him crazy, which you can understand. Yeah, yeah. And they didn't bother me, you know. They thought I worked for Frank. The and paparazzi, those are the photographers. No, 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 no. Paparazzi are Italian cooks that just hang around. Ah. <laughs> he really is dumb. <laughs> no, the paparazzi is the Italian uh, uh, cameraman. And they would take a picture. You know, it really, they, he drives them crazy. It yeah. really does. Yeah. It, 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 they take a picture of you? One guy. One guy, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he caught me in the shower doing something. Well, I won't go into it. <laughs> anyway, uh, I had black socks on and a mask. Oh, I know, I've seen your But uh, it, was, uh, it, was, it was just an exciting event. But now you got to go back to work to pay for all that. I mean, you're going back into the Sahara. Oh, I love going to Sahara. I go to resorts. I go to Lake Tahoe, to Harris. I go to Reno right. and I, at Harris, and I've been blessed. Uh, uh, when you home. think about by the Almighty, I oh. think you know when you when you think of all the comedians and all the talented people around today, to be a headliner in comedy with all the great singers, and I speak of singers, uh, which is another adventure. When, when we have time, I don't know if we will. I went for my first time to a to a concert, a rock concert with my son Larry and my you daughter went Mindy. to a I, rock. I went. I never in my life. I said that, that don't make it for me. Where am I going with a rock concert? Did you like it? And, well, first of all, I had to get. Even though you, if you're Merv Griffin, Bob Hope, Johnny Clark, you, you need 12 badges, three passes, one on your can, on your leg, you need a button here. Who was there? Boom, to go backstage just to enter the area with the rock star. The kid's name is Bruce Springsteen. Oh! He's the king the absolutely, of absolutely put me away. I went there with the attitude. We took a regular station wagon with the driver, and I said, look, Barbara, you and the kids go in, Larry, Mindy, go in. Dad will come in for a little while. I'll go outside, and I'll come back in about four hours and pick you up. And he started in. Never, never. And he went he a did. bing, da bing, da bing. Yeah, right. Which, if you could do, you could make his kind of money. Uh -huh. uh, unfortunately, you don't do a ring, da ring, ding, da ring, ding, ring no, like no, he no. does. Mm -mm. You're gray, short, heavy set, and through. <laughs> I so, will be after this show. So, uh, I must say, Merv, it's a different world that you and I knew. You know, we grew up with the Glenn Millers, you know, and the what have you, and the Glenn Dorsey Hill? and Glenn Miller, you remember. We sang with the band. my time. And Freddie Martin. <laughs> Don't forget him. Yeah. by one, the two, three, four. Anyway, so, uh, oh, this guy knows him too. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know who you are, fella, but you've been packed in ice a long time. <laughs> but uh, Bruce Springsteen, for four hours, absolutely... You stayed the whole four hours. So help me. And, and I loved was, it. And absolutely loved it. Oh, you're coming into the 80s. Huh? And, well, I tell you, my kid now comes in my room and says, Hey, Dad, what's happening? He never used to talk to me. Yeah, and what do you say? <laughs> and I say, get out, get out. <laughs> With us right now, you, you always like uh, little features like this, uh, is a beauty expert. You you. Well, <laughs> not for us. I'm not a Madonna. I'm no, certainly no, no, ready to look at it. But she has a new book here called International Beauties. International Beauty Secrets. Very interesting because you're becoming international. And she reveals unusual homemade remedies for problems like sore feet, wrinkles, and, of course, baldness. <laughs> <laughs> Would you welcome Riquette Hofstein? Riquette. Come on, let's get you. How do you say it? Hofstein. Oh, it's Hofstein. I said Hofstein. Never mind. I'm part. This Never is uh, Don Rickles. How do you do? Nice to meet you, nice Don. Nice to meet you. Ah. As a matter of fact, I have a special treat for Don today. You're kidding. Where, you, where are you from? I am French. Ah. Yes. Oh. Et maintenant, je vais parler en français. Formidable. Vous le parlez très, très bien. Complètement. <laughs> Madame. Très bien. Would you wait in the truck? We'll be back a little later. Ah, no, no, I'm kidding. He spends a lot of time in France. Yes. They put his tongue up in curlers over there. Do you speak French too? No. No? And don't bother tipping her. What do you have a surprise for? I have a special treat for Don, if I can take him with me. Oh, good. You put anything on my head, it'll fall apart. Would you like to take a seat here? Here he comes. Trick or treat you. Gets another shot at him. Uh, well, I have I have a little rinse on my hair, so if you do anything, I don't want it to, you know, become the high llama right in front of the audience. No, you no. don't color it or Could anything. Can we drink that? Uh, this is a glass of vodka for you, Don. Can you hold it for me, Is this really please? vodka? Sure. Yes. May but I have a sip to see? No, this is not for your Tommy. This is for your scalp. Okay. Well, we can have going... a little taste to it. No, not you. Oh, that was a good, <laughs> that was a good keynote. Mm. Okay, Lechaim. Lechaim. As You're a, a Jew from the Bronx. <laughs> 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 She had the hat. She had the hat. 
Lechaim. Now we're going to take it Ooh. and we have we have another <laughs> We're going to mix it with this mixture which is going to turn your little peach fuzz into hair in 12 weeks if you go steady with me. <laughs> if you what, do what? that, you're my new broad. <laughs> Are you married? No, I'm single. I've been waiting for you all my life. <laughs> well, you're going to wait a little longer. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me, no. uh, what is that you mix the vodka with? Right in here, I have vodka, and I have an alka salsa for his upset scalp, oh. and I have an aspirin so his scalp doesn't get a headache, and toothpaste so we can... Wait a minute, you have in there Alka-Seltzer, aspirin, and toothpaste? Oops, That's correct. Yeah. Sure, you, sure, $50 for, for $50 uh, for just a monogram. You don't care. Should I spit up after you drill? So we are I've flying. I've got on this hair. She doesn't understand. I can turn white right on the air. And then you apply it right on the skull. You're going to love it face down in Marseille. <laughs> Who needed this? I don't, hey, for the money what? you're paying me, I'm getting fed up. But, uh, <laughs> this is, it is working, guys. You see, you don't have I'm to skyrocketing pay. his career and his broad shampooing my scalp till I look like a mongoose. No. Look at all those pictures. Look at all the little, oh, and all at those the little, little red spots that are coming yeah. out. Okay, if you massage that very well, just don't go like that, Don. Nothing will happen. No. What, does that, what does that feel like when you do that? Well, it feels like trying to tell me something. <laughs> and then it's very important to put it at the back of oh, the go, neck baby, and my side. Oh, go, baby, go. My wife's a moose. Go, baby, go. And then if you happen to have a little bit more hair, don't forget you uh, around here, the hairline, okay? Mm, you didn't now tell you're me going... you were going to do that. <laughs> no, but... Don, yeah. what happens when you wake up tomorrow with a big head of hair? No problem, you're going to be in court. <laughs> You got a big stiff. Wait, let's put a couple of towels around me. Yeah, here. put a towel. I got a good outfit. I got a very on valuable here. shirt. On. This is a Jack Taylor buck here, and a half uh, jacket here. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you people are starting to get crazy. Here. I got good oh, clothes. Here, here, Yours is dripping dry. Mine is good stuff. <laughs> Wait a second. Here Gee, we go. You're we starting in with heavy stuff here. here. <laughs> Doctor, do you think it'll clear up? <laughs> here we go. I never saw your hands before. DJ. Uh, DJR, what's the J? <laughs> what's the J for? Jerk. Oh. Do you think we can also do it? Wait, where you massage? going? Now, where you going? <laughs> <laughs> hey, if that relaxes you, okay, sweetheart. Don't do it too much, because my wife once in a while turns on a set. <laughs> What is she going to say tonight when you go home and she says, uh, your head smells like toothpaste? She's going to say, Merv Griffin's going to be a stump. <laughs> Wait okay. a second. Well, you should be doing this. Why am I? But of course, I would like Why am to I doing touch all this? you anytime. She, well, yeah, I touch really me anytime, would. sure. But... You mean if he put that mixture in every day for three weeks, hair would grow? We are going to go steady for 12 weeks and we'll come back and we're going weeks. to see his speech fast mean... turn into hair in 12 weeks. Really? Oh. Doing this for 12 weeks will make my hair... Beautiful, is that correct? Well, I don't promise a miracle that big of a miracle. Then the hell with it, I'm not no, no, no. <laughs> Briquette, what are you going to do now? Briquette? Now? Briquette. Briquette? No, no, no Briquette. <laughs> now we are going to apply. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> Sweetheart, I'm not Emmett Kelly. Give me a break. <laughs> we are going to well, uh -huh. that mixture is on the hair. We are applying some honey. Honey? Because honey is an excellent moisturizer. Who knew I was going to go through all of this for $300, yeah. maybe? No, it's up to five now. But you see, honey is it's the only food wonderful. that is already pre-digested. Exactly. Yeah, really. yeah. Why don't you shut up? It was... <laughs> It's been eaten by the bees, you see, and then <laughs> shot out the back. Uh, I know what it's been. That's the perfect culture. stuff to put on your face. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's burning me up? He's getting laughed. <laughs> You don't have to spend $120 for a beauty cream when you can only spend few cents from your head to, to, to your toe. Well, I don't right see any changes, Rickett. 
Tell the truth, Raquette. You're an old gypsy broad from Spain someplace, right? Well, as a matter of fact, I'm an international beauty consultant who travel all over the world to bring tips just for you, Don. Well, if you shove uh, this in his mouth, we could roast him. <laughs> well, they usually no, say... No, you know, you know, you know, we got honey on that. It is. Okay. An apple a day keeps the doctors away, but while you have that on your scalp, you have the honey on your face, we are going to do a neck exercise. Not that you have anything to Paul, but let's not oh, yes, I do have. <laughs> let's not assume anything. I do have something to pull. I do. We have an apple here. Let's make believe that I am Eve and you Adam, okay? That's and pretty rough to do. Yeah. No, okay. And we are going to commit a sin if we're going to eat that apple. So you're going to reach and reach and reach and you're going to pull all your neck up and you'll oh, see if you do I that see. with your mouth day, exactly. she will hold the apple you'll reach for reach it. for it with the hell are you the trainer <laughs> <laughs> and when you reach and you take oh a bite of that apple oh, you're going to feel so good and we can commit a sin after okay look at the apple now, okay, now reach take a bite take a bite take a bite <laughs> 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 We gotta stop. Merv's getting excited. As a matter of fact, that exercise a day, if you do it, up, up, up. I'm at your door. <laughs> You're going to see that it definitely goes in here. Now, good boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are leaving. We can't have done a beautiful head of hair, a gorgeous, shiny, full of moisture skin, a gorgeous neck, and not look after your tootsies. Now, we are going well, to... Well, we would, Rickette, but we don't have time. So they're going to... They're going to have to... Just when we're Ooh. going for the feet. Just when I was going to walk off! <laughs> this is the book, and all of the international beauty secrets are in here. I certainly hope so. Bye. And I also am on PM Magazine, locally in L.A. once a week. I give more and more chips every week. Well, you week. must come back, Riquette. Would I'll get you please. somebody prettier to work with. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck to you. Thank you, Riquette. And while we're at it, let me say thank you to Don Rickles. You better believe it. <laughs> Don opens January 17th through the 20th at Sarah Hotel in Las Vegas. Thank you, Don. Thank you, man. Glad to see you. Thank <laughs> you.